We're using our high fidelity mannequin simulators today um, in order to instruct our students in a variety of crisis interventions with a hospitalized patient. So our simulators provide a lot of different resources that we can utilize. For example, they have different heart rates, different breathing rates, different heart and lung sounds. We can vary the complications in the patient. We can vary the difficulty that the patient might have breathing, um, might have communicating based on the scenario that we're utilizing for the day. The students also have the ability to see a patient monitor, which is very indicative of what they would see in a hospital setting, and it will reflect what the mannequin has been programmed to do. So all of our simulators get hooked up to a computer. We pre-program a variety of clinical scenarios for their benefit, and that really helps us with the educational process for them because it ensures that they can see a variety of different clinical situations that they might not have the ability to see in the hospital. It's very random in the hospital. Here, I can bring them in and give them a congestive heart failure. I can bring them in for advanced cardiac life support for a myocardial infarction. I can set all of that up for them in advance so they can benefit from learning how to diagnose and treat those emergency situations.